Check it out, folks. Hey, do I got a good one for you today? Listen, we finna do a cedar plank salmon, right? But listen, listen, it's all in the name. It's a cedar plank. And then if you love salmon, them two together, mm, let's get it. Okay, so look, let's go over some of these ingredients, right? You can see it's not a whole lot. We got brown sugar, we got pepper, we got oil, which I'm not even gonna be using the oil, but it's anytime I cook, I make sure I keep this on my, you know, my counter, right? We got garlic, fresh cloves right here. We got cornstarch, that's what we gonna use to thicken. We got chili flakes, you know, just to add a little bit of bite to it. You got lemon, this right here, you got rice vinegar, hey, salt, a bowl. We got this immaculate looking, look, cutting board. Hey, and then right here, there's two things that's gonna be the star. Look, it's called cedar plank. This right here is a cedar plank, right? Listen, you wanna uh, soak these at least two hours. I'm gonna say two to three hours, but at the minimum two hours, you know, cause listen, it soaks up the water. We gonna put this on the grill and this flavor, check this out. Look at what I'm finna do right here, look. Oh man, this is uh, incredible. If you guys, I know you didn't see it in the, your grocery store and you didn't think nothing about it, get yourself this, follow this and let's do it. This right here is gonna put some incredible flavor along with the smoke from the grill. And then I know you guys can hear all of the angels hitting the, the trumpets. Boom, there you go, folks. We got our salmon. Hey, with that being said, let's work. Okay, so look, we finna get right into it, right? So look, you gotta get yourself a bowl, cause listen, this is one of them kind of videos that say, like, this is like a true, like, dump and go, right? So we gonna make a marinade. Look, it's no need for me to just keep talking it like that. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start with this. We'll go ahead and put our soy sauce in, right? Oh yeah, got that going. Now, our rice vinegar. We gonna come with our, look, our chili flakes. Now, for the best part, we gonna take these cloves, right? We gonna take it like this. We're gonna work it. I want you guys to look at that right there and hopefully I can get it and do it slow enough. But look at that. Oh man. That's what you want, folks. Fresh minced garlic. And then look, when you open this up, you'll see some of it didn't get pressed. I don't know if you guys can see that, right? But if you have to load it up again, all of that gets to, you know, gets, mm, man, I can barely talk just from the, the aroma that it gives, right? So then we press it here again and we do that. Now you guys can just see how we build in flavors. Now, I'm gonna tell you something too. You can make this and make this into a dip. You know what I mean? If you're doing something like on a, a little bit of an Asian type tip, you know what I mean? You can do that, thicken it up, and you got yourself something. All right, now, we take this grate. We got our ginger. You see I done scraped and cleaned it all up. Got the rough side up. We gonna put a, we just gonna work. We gonna get a couple of tablespoons, but you wanna grate it because you want it to release the flavors and all of that. And just, you'll see it on the back side. See that right there? That's what we want. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna keep doing this. And I'm gonna probably grade this whole thing. We got everything inside there. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and add my brown sugar. You can see I already got it here. So we'll take this, I'll get it over the top because I compacted it already. It's still nice and moist, but you see that right there? That's what you want. You know what I mean? I just break it up, right? So now I'm gonna take my whisk. Man, I don't know about y'all, but it's something about cooking outside, you know? Take your whisk, and then we're gonna put this together just like this. We're just gonna whisk it and blend all them flavors together. Let everything marry and marinate here. Okay, now look, notice I didn't use no salt, right? Because there's two types of uh, soy, soy sauces that you can get. It might be a many more, but it, uh, two types that I use. I use the regular, which is a little bit high in the sodium department, and then they got the 33 less you know, sodium. So that's what I like to use, you know, and that's what's in here. So if you do that, then maybe you can sprinkle a little bit, but I'll just say this, save it for your guests. You know what I mean? And if you use regular, definitely you don't need no salt. Hey, with that being said, let me show you something. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take, look, this is my dish I have, right? This is gonna be fire. That's all I can tell you. So look, I'm gonna take my salmon, put my salmon in here just like this, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marinade and I'm gonna pour this right here over the top, just like you see. Look at this right here. Now tell me what you think. You understand that? Look, this is fish, it's real fleshy, right? So it's very, very absorbent. So look, now all we're gonna do is I'm gonna cover it with some saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and let it marinate for just two hours, right? Hey, with that being said, let me hurry up and get this covered, put it in the inside, and I'll see you when it's time to get on the grill. Okay, look, so we're approaching like about two hours, right? So look, now it's time for me to go ahead and get my charcoal together, right? Since we're gonna be doing the cedar plank. Remember, now I wanna show you something right here. You guys can look right there, you see I got my little fire starter. I went ahead and used my chimney and put my, you know, my charcoal right here in this side like this, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right over the top and we're gonna let that work. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if you can see it. If you look down on the bottom, 
we're using the Weber kettle grill, right? So you can see the opening and you see it look like it's got a little vent, right? But this is really, let me get out of the way. I wanted to show you guys, this is the vent right here. So listen, if you wanna, I don't know if you remember when you was a kid, when you blow, then everything kind of like just comes up. So this is what this represents. Open this up, a lot of air, and it keeps the, you know, fire, which will make it burn out. It'll get hot, but it'll burn quicker. So look, I'm gonna start right here about halfway. That's what I like right there. We're gonna let these catch up to that. And then let me show you this. I'm not gonna put no aluminum pan in here or nothing like that, because look, it's a cedar plank salmon. We not cooking on this long enough for us to have a, a water trough in there, right? So I'm gonna put all of the charcoal off to one side. If I cook on top of that, that's what you call direct. And when, you, when you're not cooking on top of the coals, that's called indirect, super simple. Okay, so look, I want you guys to come in here and take a look. I don't know if we can get this camera down in there like that, but if you look, come on, pan around this way so they can just take a look right there. This is what the chimney do. You guys gotta get yourself one of these. Hey, all of that using charcoal and uh, what is that? Lighter fluid and all that. Hey, that's a no-no fam. Hey, listen, get yourself one of these. These are only like about $20, $25. They last you a lifetime. Get yourself one of those. I like what I'm seeing. I know those are lit. Now, I'm gonna look down there and make sure I'm halfway. I'm gonna take it like this. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just put them all in one side. Just like that. And that there, folks, is now you know it's right. Okay, so you see I put my grill grate on there. What I'm trying to do is get you some contrast so we can see the colors. Cause sometimes it might be a little hard for you guys to see that the charcoals and you know, the charcoal is burning. But look, notice they turning white. I gotta tell everybody, man, cause anytime I end up at the park or somebody place, I see them trying to use lighter fluid. Then when they do get it lit, they think it's not lit. You know what I mean? Somebody told me when it was white that it had went out. Hey, look, that's what we looking for, folks. We already adjusted our, you know, vent down at the bottom. I'm gonna put this on the top and we gonna be, you know, let's start building some temp, right? So we, let me just show this part too. Fire over here. And I'm gonna put the vent over here, right? I'm gonna open this up. Right now, I'm gonna leave it like that. I can feel the heat coming out of here is radiating. So I'll look over here. Look, I just wanna get to about 350 to 400 degrees. Remember, the cedar plank is gonna protect it on the bottom. It's been soaking in the water. You know what I mean? So let me go get that. Let me get the uh, salmon and let's work, folks. Anything between 350 and 400 is good, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and just position these on here, right? So I'm gonna take like the thicker ones. Look at this right here. Oh yeah. Look at the color, folks. I want you to pay attention to that. That right there is fire, right? So we'll just put it on here just like this. Now remember, the cedar plank is gonna protect it, you know? Now, I don't know about you guys, man, when I make this, I don't really cook by a real temperature. I just like for it to be protected by the cedar plank. And I like to see it when it gets, you know, once it starts to become a little bit on the flaky side. But I like what I'm seeing right here. So let me go ahead, let me clean up. We are finna go ahead and position these right on the grill. Okay, so look, I'm gonna take them. I'm not gonna put them directly over the top, but I'm gonna put them like this. Just like in the center is good. You know what I mean? You wanna get it close to that and you want it. You hear that right there? Look, that's what you want. So look, I'm gonna hurry up and put my top on. And it takes about, I don't know, I'm gonna say really it takes about 20, 25 minutes before it gets, you know, completely, you know, cooked the way you would like it to be. I like mine to be a little bit more, I don't know how to say it, like a medium type of flakiness, but that right there would be fire. So we got this, I'm gonna let it build back to temperature because remember I had that top off. So listen, when you're cooking with a kettle grill, I got t-shirts that say, if you looking, you ain't cooking. So we'll let this build back up which I see it rising right now. Once I see it get to about 350 degrees, I'm gonna set a timer for about 20 minutes and then we are gonna keep the lid on there. We are gonna monitor it with our temperature only. Okay, so look, we up to temp, everything is working. Remember, quit taking the top off of your, uh, your grills or no matter what kind of grill you got, quit opening it up and looking at it. Listen, it's gotta have a temperature gauge and you monitor it by how you vent it. I mean, you monitor it and then if it's too hot, you close some of your vents. But I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna give you a tip. When they come to these kettle grills, they had a design that they made many, many years ago and it just worked. So usually when I set my bottom vent, I leave it like that and I do all my venting right here at the top. Right now, look, you can see I'm a little wider before. I was building up some heat. I'm at about 375 degrees, right? So this is what you do. Now, you remember we had everything in the marinade, right? Now that's up to you. If you want it to be one of them clear type marinades, you can strain it now, then put it in the pot. But for me, that's all of the goodness. Everything that went into this marinade, that's what we're gonna do here, right? Real simple. Look, you can even see some of the ginger right there. Now, 
I already took this in the inside, but what I want to tell you is, look, we're going to use that cornstarch and we're going to mix that with equal parts water, cold water that is. We're going to make a slurry, giving you guys, you know, this is just the, the technical terms of what it is, right? We're going to make that slurry. We're going to bring this to a boil, bring it down to a simmer. Then we're going to add that in there and we're just going to use it to thicken it up. For those of you guys been watching me, you know what I mean? You know how I get down. I know all you guys have seen that uh, peach cobbler. Same, you know, the same thing. We put the slurry in, thicken it up. And then after when we come out, we're going to baste it with that and then we finna eat, folks. Okay, so look, I'm going to show you. Look, I've already thickened this up. Did this in the house. You know what I mean? Look at this right here. I don't want it to be too thick. You know what I mean? Because I still want to coat it. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, I do the slurry, that means cornstarch and equal parts water, right? You can just omit the water and just drop the cornstarch in there for those of you guys that like that thicker. But this right here is what I like. This, this means that I don't have to put so much on there, you know what I mean? And I can use this for a lot of different uh, sauces and I got a, a chicken that I use, I pour this over the top and that works too. Now, I want you guys to come here and take a look at one thing. Okay, so look, you guys can see it right there, right? Now what I did was, I did that right before I turned on the camera, I just went ahead and just basted the top just to put a little bit more heat on there to kind of like dry it out. This right here is what we're looking for. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take it over here. All right, so look, I'm just gonna put it here like this. Man, it just smells incredible, folks. Now I'm gonna say this part, a lot of times, man, we see the cedar plank, they'll have it wrapped up. It'll be like in the butcher department, you know what I mean? And uh, we just don't fool with it. But listen, take the time, go ahead and get it. It's, it's summertime right now, we gotta do it. This right here served on top of some rice will be fire, folks. Matter of fact, let me get my plate. I got some rice ready. We gonna put this over the top and we finna eat. Now I'm gonna come here, get underneath it. Oh, my goodness. We'll just go ahead and drop him right there on this bed of rice. And I want you guys to tell me, mm. when you talk about finger licking good, this is what it is, folks. Let me get myself a napkin. We're going to sprinkle a little, you know, a little garnish over the top and we finna eat. Okay, folks, hey, listen, I've been holding it back, eat this a lot, and plus I made like a little lifestyle change as far as uh, like what I'm eating, I'm trying to eat a little bit, you know, a little bit more on the healthier side, so why not start with this salmon? Listen, it's the summer, it's light, I feel like I'm over talking. Hey, let's eat, folks. Cheers. Hey, it's fire. I know some of y'all gonna ask me what happened to the skin. Listen, you put it on there, it absorbs some of that flavor. Actually, the cedar plank comes through it. I can taste it through the meat. Hey, it's real nice. And then when you put that smoke on there too. Mm -hmm. But I like to get a little sauce on my rice. I had to hold up. It don't help that I'm already hungry. Hey, but if you guys can take a look, you can see, look, it came out nice, it's flaky. And listen, when it comes to the sauce, it's up to you. You guys can increase the brown sugar if you want it to be a little bit on the sweeter side, but that's all up to you. Taste it like this and let me know what you think. Hey, so with that being said, check this out. Listen, make this, hit me in the comment section below and just tell me if you guys want to see more things like that, especially it's summertime, right? We got the fourth coming, we finna get out on this. I got a couple of other apparatuses that I'm getting ready to use. So listen, let's go ahead and cue folks. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, take a look at my website, get your merch. Now, it's channels out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm about to devour this. I'm out. Peace.